Hi there, today I want to talk to you about the guitar sound of Iron Maiden on the Somewhere in Time album recorded back in 1986. There are some videos out there, but no one really explains how they made their sound, so I want to fill this gap. All through the decades, Iron Maiden was always playing martial amps, but on the Somewhere in Time album, it's the only time where they were using different amps. It's a Gallien Krüger transistor amp. So here you have channel A, channel B. This one is a clean and a crunch channel. You can uh, push this gain button for having a crunch sound and a clean sound. And here's channel B. You have a low gain and a high gain. You can switch it with this one. And the volume is just the master volume. There is no a gain, no input gain. The input gain is um, adjustable with little twin potties inside the amp. So we have this little twin potties here. This one is the input gain for the clean and crunch channel. This one is the input gain for the overdrive channel. And these are the uh, t two overdrive stages I put this one to 50%, I put this one to about 20%, and this one is the input gain, I put about uh, to 20%. This one is the twin potty for the echo, and there is no way to adjust the chorus, it's just a fixed sound. The twin potties are working counterclockwise, so 5 o'clock is 0 and 7 o'clock is 100%. A really important detail is that uh, Dave and Adrian are both using um, Ibanez Tube Screamer and you really need this to come close to this sound. So whether you are using the Gallien Krüger or a Marshall setup, you really need this Tube Screamer. I'm using a Retrosonic Overdrive, with, which is a really high quality hardware clone of the Tube Screamer. Uh, sounds much better than the original one and has uh, less noise. Of course, the real magic of this amp comes from its chorus. You can switch it on or off here. You cannot modify the chorus sound, it's just a fixed sound. It's this uh, specific chorus sound that really makes the whole sound of the Somewhere in Time album. So you really need to have this specific chorus sound. And it took me a long, long, hard time to find out how to make this uh, chorus sound without the Gallien Krüger. So here's another very important thing to know. The chorus of the Gallien Krüger is a true stereo chorus, so the signal is divided in two mono signals. You must connect both uh, speaker outs to have a real um, stereo chorus sound. So you need to have uh, two cabinets or a stereo cabinet. Otherwise you will have just uh, a mono signal left or right if you do not connect both speaker outs. So I connected the two speaker outs to two 12-inch cabinets. One is mic'd with a SM57 and one is mic'd with a Sennheiser 906. <laughs> Okay, so to my ears, the combination of the Gallien Krüger Channel B low gain with the Tube Screamer comes closest to the original sound of the Somewhere in Time album. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now I want to show you how you can get close to this sound if you do not have the original Gallian Krüger amp. So I made uh, two setups with just normal gear using a standard um, Marshall GMP preamp and in the other setup I'm using a, a digital amp modeler. I'm using a standard Boss Chorus, I'm using a tube power amp going to the same to a 12 inch cabinets. <laughs> Okay, so this is the easy and cheap version. You can do it with every amp you have. You just need a tube amp, you just need a chorus, and um, that's it. Also, that sounds pretty cool and smooth, but I wanted to get closer to the original sound, so I did a third setup. So I'm using an XFX to do this setup, but of course you can use whatever amp simulator you have to do the same and was searching for an amp that gets close to the original sound and I found a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier that sounds nearly close to the original one and I'm using a chorus, panned the chorus to the right, panned the clean sound to the left. So as you can see here the delay time between the dry and the modulated signal of the Gallian Krüger chorus is 80 milliseconds. So if you want to set up a chorus that sounds close to the original sound, you have to use these uh, pre-delay 80 milliseconds. The Gallian Krüger is not a hi-fi gear, so you have to tweak the sound a little bit. I did a, a high shelf minus 5 dB at 10 kilohertz to the sound and I did a high shelf minus 8 dB on 4 kilohertz to the chorus. Okay, so here's my XFX setup. <laughs> 